refer to as cutoff points or what we refer to cluster points. Or you hear some people talk of weighted cluster points. Whichever name they baptize this, these points, eh? we are meaning of it's one of the same thing. Now we have talked of the cluster subjects and I have allowed me to repeat myself for credit purposes that cluster subjects simply refers to those subjects that you need to take a certain course in the university. I've given you a good example. It's like, if you want to go and take law, some of us here want to go and take law, good? Uh-huh, you want to go and take law. It's a good thing for you. But did you know for you to take law, you require at least a B plane in English or Kiswahili a B plane in history, a B plane in CRE. These are subjects, they are cluster subjects that are mandatory for you to take that course in the university. So other than now the cluster subjects, we have now what we are referring to the cluster points or the cutoff points. What are they or what is this? Cluster points, these are the minimum points that you must attain for you to take that course in a specific university. Let me repeat myself. The minimum number of points that you must attain to take that course in the university, a specific university. I'll be explaining myself further in a while. So for now, just know that these are the minimum points you must attain to study a course or a specific course in a specific university. Let me put a few examples. If you want to go and study Bachelors of Science, in this case, Actuario Science, okay? In this case, Actuario Science at Edgerton University, okay? The cutoff point in 2020, it was 35.48, okay? The same course, Bachelors of Science, Actuario Science at Kenyatta University, the same year, the cutoff was 38.135. Take the difference. All right, the same course, Bachelors of Science, Actuarial Science at the Rakanidi University College, the same year 2020, the cutoff was 20.048. Hello students, take note of this. The course is the same, the universities are different, the points are different. So in 2020 for this course at Edgerton University, cutoff for 2020 was 35.48. For 2019, you realize that it was a bit higher. It was 37.048. In the previous year, 2018, it was even higher because it was 38.5. In the previous year, it was a little bit low compared to 2018, but higher compared to 2020 because it was 38.03. And the trend continues. Look at the same course at Kenyatta University. It was 38.13 in 2020, but in 2020, 2019, it was 40.19. In 2018, it was higher. It was at 41.218. The same course in the university, the Rakanidi University College, the same course, Bachelor's of Science, actually your science, all right? 2020, 20.04, 20, 2019, 24.6, 2018, 24.249. I know there's a student who is asking now, Mr. Arosto, all this literature, all these numbers, this is not a subject to Skizanagi. This is not a subject to Allow me to tell you this. It is necessary for you to get to know the cutoff, the rage. Not necessarily the specific cutoff point, but the rage. Why do I say the rage? If you look at the thread of Edgerton University, Bachelor's of Science in Actuarial Science, they, it was 35.48. Previous year, it was 37.04. 2018 was at 8.5. What does this tell you? That 2021, where you will be classified now, okay, you should not be eyeing for anything less than 35.48. It should be anything above that for you to be on the same grounds. The same case at Kenyatta University, it should be that 8.13, the lowest you should go. The Rakanidi University should be, the lowest you should go is 20.048. And you might be asking at the same time, now, how do we calculate these things? Or how do I know my cutoff points of my course? And that's the next thing that I'm going to discuss with you. And so now what we are going to identify here is that we talked of the cluster points, okay? 
that those cluster points, they are given by your KCP aggregate and add, take note of this, your KCSC subject performance or what we refer to as cluster subjects. Cluster subjects, why? Let's calculate cutoff points or what we are referring to as the weighted cluster points. Let me tell you this, that you will calculate your cutoff points using your KCSC target. I know by now each and every student has a KCSE target that in English this is your target, Kiswahili this is your target, mathematics this is your target, uh, history this is your target. We are going to use your KCSE target to calculate your cutoff points for, for you to be able to tell whether you qualify for that course in that university of choice. Hello, let me repeat myself that we are using your KCSE targets, are we together, to calculate your cutoff points for you to be able to tell whether you qualify for your placement for that course in that university that you want to go to, all right? So this is the formula that we use. So this yeah. one to miss the W that you see on the screen, sorry, the W that you see on the screen, it is starts for the weighted cluster points, okay? This is what we are referring to as cut off points. That's the W, all right? The R, it is the sum of the cluster subjects. What do we mean by the sum of the cluster subjects? Remember we talked of the, the cluster subjects, those subjects that are mandatory for a certain course. For example, when we talked of uh, bachelors of uh, dental surgery, we have talked of biology, we have talked of mathematics, we have talked of chemistry. We have talked of that, isn't it? Then we have talked of English or Kiswahili. Those are the cluster subjects, the subjects that are mandatory for you to take that course. Then we have the T. The T starts for your aggregate performance. This is what I referred to as the KCSE aggregate. Hello? The KCSE aggregate, this is what we are referring to as the aggregate performance. So please take, off, take note of this. W for cutoff points or the weighted cluster points. R is for the sum of the cluster subjects, hello, and T is for the aggregate performance. So you don't need to do a lot of maths here. All you need to calculate is your R and your T. The moment you calculate your R, put it where it is supposed to be, your T, where it is supposed to be, then you have gotten your W. You can punch your calculator and get your W. Good. Now let's get an example here. There's a student who is called John, who want to go and take bachelor's of science, to be more precise, actually science at Edgerton University, all right? And his KCSE target is as shown below. This is what this student is targeting, okay? Somebody have just said, eh, he must be a bright student. Yes, he is a bright student. John is targeting a B plane of nine points at the KCSE. He is targeting a K Kiswahili, he is targeting a B plus, which is a 10. Mathematics, he is targeting an A, 12. I can see the student at Magarini Mwenyanashika Mdombo Usijari. Mathematics, an A is a 12. Yes, that student is targeting that. Physics, the student is targeting a B minus, which is, an, which is eight points. Chemistry, the student must be, be challenged a little bit in chemistry, targeting a seven. Then history, targeting another plain A. And CRE, targeting as nine, that's a B plane, and his aggregate is a 9.52, that tells you it's a B plus. So John, I don't know he is from which, I mean which secondary school, but this is what he is targeting, and he want to go and take actuarial science at Edgerton University. So I ask you, my good students, a big simple question, does John qualify for the course at Edgerton University? Yes. Does, according to your own assessment, according to your own thinking, do you think John qualifies for this course, Bachelor's of Science at Curious Science at Edgerton University? Maybe you said yes, others have said no. Regardless of the answer, let's check this together. Does he qualify? The first thing that we have to check is, what are the subject requirements? What are the subject requirements? The cluster subjects, the cluster subjects. Again, I have, uh, an extract from um, the manuals and the bachelor's of science in actuarial science, you can see it here. 
Bachelor's of Actuarial Science, Bachelor's of Science in Actuarial Science, Bachelor's of Science, Actuarial Science, Bachelor's of Science, Actuarial Science with IT. Then uh, all others are there, Bachelor's of Financial Engineering and all that. We are interested with Bachelor's of Science, Actuarial Science. So what does this subject require? Look at it. Up here, I hope you are able to tell subject one, the subject required is mathematics alternative A. You're able to tell that, right? That the subject required is mathematics alternative A. So for you to go and take bachelor's of science, actually science, for John to take that requires mathematics alternative A with a C plus, at least a C plus. Hello, are we there? At least a C plus. Good. Subject two. Subject two, and this one is very favorable because it says subject two or group two. Which are the group two subjects? These are the sciences, right? Physics, chemistry, biology. So in this case, the subject required here is English or Kiswahili. English or Kiswahili, that's what it means when you see this gray here. It means that it's the same as what is up here. English or Kiswahili with a C plus. Right together. So John requires to have scored mathematics alternative A, a C plus, at least. English or Kiswahili, again, at least a C plus. Then any other of group three subject or group four or whatever. So the baseline here is, does John has mathematics alternative A with at least a C plus? Does John has English or Kiswahili with at least a C plus? Look at the targets that John had. In mathematics, he had very high target, isn't it? In mathematics, in Kiswahili, his target was a B plus, which is a 10. So let's give him that because there's the subject that we are assuming he will score this, okay? Then in mathematics, his target was an A. I hope you're able to see this, his target was an A. So again, way above C plus, so he qualifies. Then physics, we have been told in subject three here, they say subject three is any group three, okay? So in any group three means it's physics, biology, or chemistry. I have picked the best for John. So John has an eight in physics. So I pick that one for him. Then in subject four, at this point here, subject four, they say a second group two or second group three or group four or group five. So for me here, I have picked a group three, the one that John has performed the best. And in this case is history. Hello. I hope we are sailing on together. So from the cluster subject perspective, John qualifies because he has mathematics, he has English or Kiswahili with C plus at least. So in Kiswahili, he has a B plus way above. In mathematics, he has an A way above. Then let's get now to calculating the cutoff points. The cutoff points. Now we started by saying that the R represents the sum of the cluster subject points. The sum of the cluster subject points. T represents the aggregate, the sum of the aggregate points. I hope you are together. So for a good student, the R for John, you can calculate the R for John and you get that the R for John is 42, there it is. And the T for John is 67. That is if you take the total that John got here, from this one, all right? If you put all this, if you get the sum, the 10 plus nine, 19 plus 12 plus eight plus seven plus 12 plus, plus nine, that is what is giving us now the 67. Hello, I hope you are sitting together, okay? So with that one, a student in Alumol Girls, I don't know whether it is Hesabu Imekushtua, Amani performance here, John. I hope you are just like John, all right? So John has that performance and John has got scored like that. So let's see what his cluster point is. Now, remember the formula here is W equals into brackets, the square root of R over 48 times T over 48, I mean, over 4, all that multiplied by 48. So for John, let's plug in. His R is 42. His T is 67. So you have this formula. Just a matter of bragging in. Okay. Just a matter of bragging them in. You understand that? So 
can now get your calculator. Needless for you to use a pen and a paper. If you don't have time, you can punch so fast. And if you use your calculator well, you realize that John cluster point is at 39.52. From his target, you want to go and take Actuia Science. Okay, John will have scored at 39.52 as his cutoff points. So here comes another question. Does John qualify for that course? So we get back to our table and check. Look at this. At Edgerton University, last year, 2020, John would have performed, would have gone to do this course. Why? The cutoff was 35.48, and John has scored at 39. In the previous year, it was 37. The other year, it was 38.5. The previous year, 27, it was 38.0. So John is far, far, far much ahead, isn't it? At least he can sit and relax and be almost 100% sure that he will be taken to take this course in this university at Edgerton University, depending on the performance, the general performance of students in the country.